Hello there, everyone, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Overworld Blues A to Z, and we're playing as the Glow's Cradle. Um, right now, as you can see, we're at war with the last Rudia, who's also at war with the other groups here. And uh, we have, unfortunately, a generic focus streak. We're doing the Warband's Muster right now. Whatever we can do to make ourselves a little stronger as, uh, well, we're going to try to survive this campaign, because it's not going to be easy. It's going to be pretty difficult. And again, if I'm smart enough, this will only be a one episode campaign just because, as you can see, we might have basic infantry tech, we might have basic construction exploitation, but that's it. So, this campaign, I can't imagine will be lasting too long. We're doing okay right now. Wait, we're a major nation? Huh. Um, we have ghouls. There's that. Hard to pack enough. So, we popped over there too. And also, this is our division template right now. Like I said, we're a bunch of ghouls, and we need to go in as fast as possible because. We like to take at least one thing before we start moving out some other direction. Let's see you go here. Get out, go out, grab as much territory as you possibly can. Got some dynamite that'll help us out a little bit. Anti tanks, saws would be nice. Um, yeah, pretty much all this stuff would be very good to get. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, interchanging trade post station. Okay. Ooh, push forces there, huh? Not ideal. Oh, there's three. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going with conventional warfare, just for now. To see what it would be like. Some minor prospectors. We already have the followers of the apocalypse. We got more research speed. We've got a little better factory apple with Lucas Hunter. We've got docks. We've got the Golden Gecko. I would like to go to Welcome to Army too. Um, so that division hopefully will die here. If we're good enough, we can cut these guys off. And hopefully we won't get encircled. Right now we have like 27 casualties that are 181. If we take the capital, odds are they'll capitulate, but there's no guarantee. Ah, good. Oh, there's another division there too, huh? Interesting. Oh god. Now we got in circle technically, but that should be alright once these guys are dead too. Just keep it up. The more you grind, the more we can take it later on. Anyways. I want you up out here. Take the last readout itself. Uh, we're at 100%, so let's see if we can actually take everything here. That'd be kind of nice. Not gonna lie. Right, so that, that's not happening. We got three divisions there. Uh, see what else we can do. They're completely cut off. Actually, the capital is going to fall faster than these guys. Uh, let's see. Because eventually, I do want to get Casper. Let him keep going for now. You know what? You're here. You must help him out. Uh, but the Northern Cons took that over because that's a trade node. That's the closest thing we can get to a trade node is we get the Warband's muster. And we'll get this one next. Or what do we want, really? Uh, right now, we're led by people group, up by the people ideology, uh, experience soldiers losses, it's only 5%, yeah why not, um, so we're probably going to stick with the people, and the, for the generic focus tree for these guys, people, elites, uh, political power, stability, war, sport, monthly population, planning speed, it's not great, it's average. So we'll see what happens, we lost 40 so far, I'm not spending any army XP because I want to wait to grab this one first with the new crossroads, so... They were taken out up here. There we go. Let's see what you can do. About a thousand map because we will need to core everything here pretty much as well. There you go. And there they go. Does not look like we get have enough to take anything, which kind of sucks. Uh, honestly, we have to take this one at the very least. I wonder if we can take anything else. I wonder if they're going to fight us for all this, too. If we can take at least two states, that'd be great. Hey, that's not bad. I'm okay with that. But will they go to war with us to, to claim all this? Also, we're using the mods uh, Expanded uh, Focus Streets, I think. I can't remember the top of my mind. 
I'll probably do, say it in just a little later, but we are tribals. Um, we have uh, access to, I think, Overblue's Blue's Tech Expanded, something like that. I forget exactly, like I said, Conventional Warfare. It doesn't look like they're going to attack us, which is decent. Maybe we could fight off the Northern Khans, perhaps? Because they have, they have no manpower, and they don't have that many divisions. And here we're at, everybody. Now, in 2279, it, we have 100 army XP. We've lost 3,000 men, and they've, we've killed off 9,000 against the Khans. And we've made an encirclement. Our divisions are looking pretty good at this point. They're 18.7 combat worth. Uh, well, you know what, I'll just show you this. Uh, Brothers of the Globe, four, re uh, four support companies, 20, well, basically would be 20 combo with, but uh, with a reduction in size, it helps us out quite a bit, which is pretty nice. Um, down here, what is it? Division combo with is 80, huh? So 20 would really work well, 20.4 would be too much. But as you see, we made an encirclement, we pushed through here, now we're going to destroy these divisions and hopefully push through. We're getting a, uh, the Free Fighters Ascent divisions to the, well, the Free Cons, you can call them now. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're really here to take out Casper. Because Casper the Gus is going to give us money. And we need money. So it's going to take a while to do. It's fine with me. Tons of army XP now. It's great. A little more soft stack. Heart attack would be great. We're almost done with our land auction, too. Uh, I've just been playing this a lot off screen. Look at that. Fantastic. And, oh. There you go. Looking not bad. Not too shabby if I say so myself. Let them reorganize themselves. Get a little more organization, like I said. And, uh, yeah, we can't do this, huh? Basic support tech, or basic special forces tech, as well as intermediate support tech. Well, it kind of sucks if we can't get that. Um, in the meantime, we're going to grab some HRCWs, and we're going to start attacking too. There you go. See what you can do. There's only 11 divisions down here, so. Doom fire, level 6 attack. We do have some basic gliders. They're not great, but, you know, they work. Also, during this entire time, we have been able to core the territories to our right, right here. Um, after the free cons, I don't want to take out the Code of Liberty. That, that's kind of massive. That's too much for us to take out. Um, maybe the Montana Brotherhood, but I couldn't tell you what they're doing. Uh, maybe the flawed, maybe the flawed pairs would be nice. Track dogs, dog trackers. Yeah, maybe the flawed pairs. Yeah, let's go. Let's go focus more on Nebraska. I think that'd be more ideal for us. They're still attacking us, which is great, great, great. Roman department, why not? And we're popping heads, popping caps. They're almost all dead. So we're with these guys. What justify? We only have 14 divisions, which is not great, but whatever. They didn't find anything, huh? That kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. So now the question is, can we push into here or here? Over here, we'd have more success, probably, because uh, of all the divisions that we do have. But this could last quite a while. It gives Manifest Hope. They got quite a bit of equipment still. Um, they're, but they're out of manpower. So, that we're playing that to our advantage. Uh, did this reset or something? I thought I said just go into the line here. But uh, whatever. Nice. Also, we do get 28 weekly, or 10 weekly manpower now. I thought it would be 28. Oh, we do have a couple things here that we haven't talked about. Like the Glowing Father. Um, uh, the glowing father, father of the cradle, cradle's father, and so many other names come to mind when one thinks of or speaks of this man. Having led a peaceful succession of glow's cradle away from the luminous ones by simply tricking the great glowing one, and as well as to go south of the river and then blocking the passage back, he continues to stride to bring a tranquil existence of religious worship forth in glow's cradle. Some question. Uh, the succession of glow's cradle, yet it was only done to avoid the slaughter of the innocents. Forceful ghoulification and barbaric practices done by the luminous ones. Those who embrace the glow must do it at their own free will, not because one is tied down and put on a cross next to some radioactive material, but the father knows that the glowing one will become for him once the conflict in Colorado has ended. So, go figure. Very glowy. Glotatious. But we also have this one, too. Guides of the Cradle. Glow's Cradle is a haven for ghouls. A safe place where one can experience glow's beauty and radiance. These lands are highly irradiated, with only a handful of pockets and pathways being safe or traveled by non-mutants. The gods of Glow's Cradle make sure that ferals find themselves inside of the, of the most irradiated of the pockets. They may feel the glow envelop and embrace them until their dying moment. A fate to the Brotherhood of the Glow considered being of the utmost divine. Um, the most peaceful ascension to become one with the glow. Not only does this protect the people traveling these lands, it also protects those who are outside of it, for none can pass without risking certain death. Travel offerings. Um, you know, what do we go with the High Council? Keep going with it. You're doing fine. 
and glow or radiate. Things are hot and heavy. So maybe flamers? Because it sounds pretty hot to begin with, anyways. Uh, Mana prospectors, perhaps. Hopefully, we'll continue in here. A couple other things, such as the weekly or the pilgrim path. The pilgrim path is the name given to the safe routes of Glow's Cradle. And those interested in the religious and religion and brotherhood of the Glow come to find their inner selves and bathe in controlled pockets of, ra of radiation at the end. The brothers and sisters of the Glow guide these pilgrims for any kind of tribute, whether it's a single a bottle cap, a weapon, or even a robot. Whatever one can afford is all that is asked. These guides protect the pilgrims that use the radioactive contraptions to explore themselves and their assailants and radioactive goop, either killing them or turning them into ghouls afterwards. The goop is cleaned off to clear the path once more. Whether by pilgrims joining the Brotherhood or by want to be assailants being attacked and ghoulified, the numbers always grow. Cool. Just a little more backstory for us. We have that done, and we have enough right now. I'm not super worried about it. I would like to throw more on here. Ooh, fire teams. We don't have enough for this, do we? Fortifications? I don't think so. It's definitely not, but that's all right. We're gonna throw it on there anyways. So as you can see, it's just a giant grind. But we've got twelve and a half thousand, which is pretty decent overall. Especially helps when they have no manpower. Uh, Bottle caps economy, military sending bonuses would be nice. We're less than a thousand ourselves right now. We have gone up. In terms of conscription level two, um, where are we at? We have quite a few of these other focuses done, which is great. Um, but we're here. We did military in both lives. We trust our protection only to those whose skills we are absolutely confident. They're members of the National Guard, military, and rangers who still remember the times of the U.S. There are a few of them, but they are best of the best, and therefore can be sure that the losses among them be minimal. And service for volunteers. Due to losses, we were forced to open the way to military service for volunteers. Yes. They are far less trained than those who are trained by the old world standards, but at the same time, they're still better than the average human, as many have survived in the wasteland for almost two centuries. Hey, we actually took the tile, look at that, and we're done with our land auction. So we're going to come over here and we're going to grab a little bit more manpower with uh, civilized tech. Not much, but something, you know? And we need something. And we get over here, that gives us more options to break out exactly what we want. Uh, we're definitely going to need this and this. Not bad so far. They just look very, 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 very weak. Great race. Hopefully we don't get found out. Ooh, do we push in? Flamethrowers are nice. And... Let's get some basic laser weaponry. Right here is a run. It's fine. So just having divisions is fine. Let them spread a little bit more. If I could encircle Douglas, I would probably pretty much end them completely. I'm gonna grab some more manpower, shall we? Yes, please. You're not doing anything, so there you go. The high council's good. Uh, death powder pots, sure. That'd be very nice. Yeah, don't let him move. Come on. Nice. Just go ahead. Why not? Seven divisions trapped. We love it. Let them get in there first, and bingo. Beautiful. Not bad. Finding the cons really sucks. Now we have more divisions than them. We might be able to pull off a general attack as well. We'll see. And I'll go in. See what you can do. So here, what are we going to do? Land doctrine? Yeah. Uh, old world tactics? That makes a lot of sense. Sure, it's been done a lot of times. Um, that just means it's tried and true. What more could you ask for? Old world knowledge? That sounds like something we would do, maybe. Military council. Uh, daily command power. Vulnerability costs. Mercenaries. Old world knowledge? We're not really old world. We're ghouls, you know? Pilgrims. We're doing conventional. That seems a little make a lot of sense for me. Barricades and outposts, organized supply lines, fight for freedom, rush training programs, vast battle plan organizers, planning speed's not bad. Uh, experience scout platoons. Oh, this one next. Spirit of the Academy, strategy, know-how. Yeah, maybe not. Old books will knowledge of many battles throughout history. We can put this wisdom to good use against our enemies. Nice. Oh, Casper's a capital. Well, it was. And now we're out of money. Oh, that's not good. Oh, negative. That's not good. Really not good. 
river tune. Uh, sure, I guess. Casper will be alive soon enough. Good, enclosure's good. Uh, research efficiency gain, 100 more manpower is not much, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. There you go. Hey, another segment, without even us prompting them to do so. Beautiful. 10 to 11 divisions, not bad. Tons of casualties for them. Six, Jerome Ross. Doesn't look like a ghoul to me. Neither does a field marshal either. Allison Ch Cheatham? I'm sure more works, but why not? Hopefully, we'll be working on improving our compliance growth speed as much as possible. That'll be good. Brilliant pros here, too. Lost cabin, the more they spread out, potentially easier it would be. Please get in there before they do anything. God dang it. Come on. God dang it. Hey, there we go. Now we have a positive trade node. Yay, we're going to route to New Canaan. Nice. Hopefully that'll update soon. Oh yeah, there you go. Cap Mint, Casper. Oh, that's looking good and tasty. Uh, 16,000 losses versus our 30, probably 4,000 really. Let's just be real secure. Nice. They have a ton of equipment, don't get me wrong, but they're completely out of manpower. Uh, children and mothers? Oh man, we're killing children and mothers now. Nice. We'll hit them even harder too with this. That's good. Burn them. More manpower would be good, just in case. More construction stuff, it's fine. Good, 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 good. There we go. Maybe we can do that. Keep these guys in place. Keep these guys in place. Nice. Maybe we should hop here, out here instead. Yeah, push. Yeah, now he's level 7, good. Um. More piercing, why not? Better guns too, even though we're not making a single one. Uh, I like Warsport, but yeah, that's the one we really have to go for right now. Well, would you look at that? Just like we planned. Good, good. Did they produce any more divisions? It seems like they might have. No, they lost one more. What is that? The price is right. How do we earn 600,000 caps from a single trade node? I don't think we've earned that much from a single trade node just yet. Hey! Wait, why didn't this just auto go ahead anyways? Weird, but okay, whatever. Because we're missing quite a few things here, unfortunately. That's alright. If we take Riverton, will that capitulate him? Probably not. How about we work smarter, not harder? Keeps going. It's fine. Go, 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 go! Are we there yet? Oh, come on, how do they get there fast enough? Here, go to level. Alright. Not bad, some eight divisions left. Not too shabby. So close. So close. Hey, we got him. Wow, I didn't think we'd actually be able to take him out. 
yeah, yeah, you know, we could go to war with other people, but we're looking pretty good. Glow's Cradle's looking pretty nice and thick, but I think we're going to the theater because our focuses are just, they're not great right now. I mean, this, this nation might get a rework in someday, hopefully, or maybe they'll maybe get rid of it and then uh, replace it with something else. But I like the idea of having just a giant irradiated wasteland here. I think that's a really smart, cool idea. Hope to see what the devs uh, continue to explore with it. But like I said in the beginning, it's just a single off episode because it's part of my A to Z series. And do I recommend the Glow Cradle? Currently, no. It's really, really, really hard to play as. So look at all these veterans we've got. But hey, if you enjoyed the small little campaign here, please consider leaving a fat old like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.